In June of this year, 2017, in San Diego, it's the American Diabetes Association Scientific Sessions, the CANVAS trial results were released. Again, this will be the second SGLT2 inhibitor to release a large cardiovascular outcomes trial. This trial was a little different from EMPA-REG in that this trial had about 35% of patients who were just, quote, at high risk. Maybe they've been over 50, they had diabetes for more than 10 years, where 65% had actually had a cardiovascular event. Now, to refresh memory, Empereg had had 100% people had had some sort of cardiovascular event. The question was, when you dilute that sample of people who are not quite as sick, would you get as good a result? Well, there was still a 12% reduction in the primary MACE that made your adverse cardiovascular event. So it met the primary endpoint of its trial. This was driven by a reduction in cardiovascular death, a reduction in MI, a reduction in stroke, none of which individually were statistically significant, but the overall numbers made it statistically significant. They did not have that same 38% reduction in cardiovascular death that you saw with Empareg, but they did have another 35% reduction in the hospitalization for heart failure, and they also had the same decrease in progression to end-stage renal disease, renal replacement therapy, doubling of creatinine, all those measures of worsening renal function over the six and a half years of the trial. The other thing that was pointed out by the FDA right prior to the trial coming about is that there was this slight increased risk of amputation. So the numbers went from three in a thousand patient years to six in a thousand patient years. So statistically it's 0.3 to 0.6 percent. Most of those patients had already had an amputation and had evidence of peripheral vascular disease, but you can't ignore that it was statistically significant. But again, I think it's helpful to know that these are small numbers and this is being looked at and we'll have a lot of uh, information probably over the next year, year and a half, looking at parsing that data, just like we're going to have a lot of information over the next year or so, looking at parsing some of the EMPA-REG outcome data as well. In the CANVAS trial, there was a 35% reduction in hospitalization for heart failure, very similar to EMPA-REG. I mean, eerily similar to the EMPA-REG trial in empagliflozin, as well as a marked decrease, some 45 to 50% decrease in progression towards renal replacement therapy, death from uh, end-stage renal disease, doubling of creatinines. In other words, all those things that you measure as adverse renal endpoints, there was a marked reduction in the patients treated with canagliflozin. Well, other things I'd like to point out in the CANVAS trials, those curves separated pretty early as well. It now seems that we have a second SGLT2 inhibitor that met that three-point MACE, has a reduction in heart failure, has those renal benefits, and now you're starting to think this may be a real class effect. Dapagliflozin has the largest of the clinical trials, but it won't report out until 2019. So we'll see if they meet the same endpoints, but most experts are now thinking this is a real class effect.